We're here in Berlin, a city synonymous with creativity, live music, and vibrant nightlife. Right in the center of the city is the Mercedes-Benz Arena. It opened in 2008 with a performance by Metallica. And ever since has been well established as one of the busiest and best equipped arenas in the world. My name is Ole Hertel. I am working for AEG in Berlin. I'm with the arena for more than 15 years now, um, having seen numerous artists uh, getting on and off the stage, as well as uh, many sport events from our anchor tenants, which is ice hockey and basketball, and uh, also international highlight events from the NBA, NHL, and uh, world-class events like handball, basketball, world and European championships, just the top of the top. I'm Isada Hartmann, Senior Director Booking at AEG Berlin. Um, I've started here in 2009 and I've worked for a promoter before coming here, so I kind of um, switched sides when I came here um, from being a promoter to being a venue person. <clears throat> and I started as an event manager. And the first shows I saw here, which was pretty exciting, was Tina Turner. Um, so God bless her, um, yeah, which were great shows here and it was a great intro because I knew uh, not only the promoter but I knew um, also martial arts, Barry Marshall was here and it was kind of felt like um, coming to the family but being at the venue at the same time. Um, so the transition was pretty smooth for me to, to kind of become a venue person. You come from that promoter background, so what is it, when you were looking at building, at this building from that promoter's perspective, what excited you? I mean, first, um, the um, loading dock area was really something that is um, very convenient because um, we have the loading docks, you come in with the truck and, and you have a really short loading uh, route um, to get everything in. And um, so at some point it was like, oh, we come to Berlin, we might be the fastest um, load-in, load-out load again. Uh, and that really happens um, pretty often. From a promoter's perspective, what, what is the big pull for this building? I mean, from my obvious perspective, we're, it's located right in the heart of the city in one of the kind of coolest areas that's renowned for its nightlife. And it has great transport links. From your perspective, what, what works you know, for, for, for motors? What's the kind of big pull? We're in the capital of Germany, and that, of course, is a factor. Uh, we're multi-million capital, 3.5 million or more than 3.5 million people living in Berlin. We're in a very cool and in hip uh, district, Friedrichshain-Kreuzberg. We're so close to public transportation. Um, it is always um, something that let promoters also consider because, consider because they know the fans have an easy access. They come, can come basically from where we were because um, the Ostbahnhof is also um, a train station for uh, uh, local and regional trains and throughout Germany and even international because the train from Warsaw stops there and uh, you can come from Amsterdam to here straight away. Um, so that is really something that, that really people like. It's quite an impactful uh, experience when you kind of walk up to the building and you see all this um, advertising. So that must be a big factor when it comes to persuading uh, or encouraging uh, promoters into the building, the fact that they have this marketing material to, to, to publicize their shows. Right. I'm not aware of any other building in Germany um, that is delivering so much digital um, advertising as we do on site. We have the marquee signs, we have the um, digital boards on the Mercedes-Platz, we have Arena TV in-house. Uh, it's huge, it's massive, and of course it's a competitive advantage that we can offer this digital asset. Can you give me some examples of, of the range and, and breadth of the kind of events that take place um, in the arena? So there's a huge range of uh, events that we can stage at the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Uh, it's truly a multi-purpose venue. Uh, not only speaking of the 12 configurations that we have, which is a seated or a standing uh, configuration uh, with three different stage positions and uh, the upper tier either open or closed that combines to 12 uh, combinations. Uh, we also have basketball, ice hockey configuration. We can have handball. We have had boxing. We have had MMA. We have had uh, horse shows like Cavaluna, Appassionata, 
we have Night of the Jumps, which is also a dirt show. And um, we can have basically anything you want, um, including um, multiplayer events like League of Legends, where we had the World Finals in our venue in 2015. And when it comes to the rigging and the, the, the kind of production facilities that you we have in the building, what, what are the kind of top line highlights? The roof can take a lot of um, load, so it's uh, 67 tons. And um, also the height, uh, which is um, 18 meters above the stage. Um, and not all venues can offer that. I mean, some of the German venues, they need ground support to, to cater to uh, big productions. So we don't need that. Um, so we are able to really host um, big events. The arena has been the, the catalyst for the development of the whole side of the campus. So uh, when it all started, it was just the arena and here by here, other buildings uh, were being built, office buildings, also residential buildings, a shopping mall, uh, the Mercedes Platz buildings that we own and operate, including bowling and a cinema and the Verti Music Hall. So in its final stage, there will be 30,000 people working, 2,000 people living on the campus, and it's generating a multi-million benefit to the district and the city. With the venue being located in the center of town um, and having great transport links, clearly when it comes to sustainability, that's minimizing the, the emissions and the, the carbon footprint of, of the audience uh, traveling to the, to the venue. What, uh, how much of a consideration is, is the environment really in, in the way that this venue is operated? Um, so, so I would like to start with when this um, site was, was being picked to build the arena on. Uh, it was already clear that we have to be in the part of the city, in the city center, and locating um, the arena right in between of two main uh, um, public transport hubs was very important to us um, 15 years ago already. Um, nowadays, uh, we operate the arena with green electricity using hydroelectric power from Scandinavia. And we're also using natural gas, which we set off with uh, climate neutral certificates. Um, so we are operating the arena at the most um, sustainable um, level possible. On top of that, um, we use uh, our best efforts to reduce uh, the consumption of power, which is, I think, the most sustainable thing that you can do. The less electricity you take, the less gas you need, um, the more sustainable you are. Plus, we are having uh, several uh, measures that will support our sustainable efforts. Uh, and the latest that we did was introducing a reusable cup system, which we self-operate and we own. So it's our own project. We don't have to bring cups from the arena to a washing place. It's all happening at the arena. I don't think you can be more sustainable than that. Clearly AEG runs spectacular buildings all over the world. Um, and security is a, a key consideration. Um, what, are the, what are the kind of key um, implementations in, in this building when it comes to um, safety and security? Customer security is very important to us. So we always try to be best in class. And when we introduced walkthrough metal detector technology in 2016, that was um, the first venue in Germany to do so. Um, this year, we are investing in a new technology, which will help to improve the customer ex experience. It will accelerate um, the speed of access. So people will be able to enter the building much faster and easier compared to the past. So that's it from the Mercedes-Benz Arena. A remarkably flexible venue that stayed at the top of its game for 15 years.